This video will discuss the recommendations for cleaning and returning a Cessna aircraft back to service after it was exposed to hangar fire retardant foam. If your Cessna aircraft was accidentally submerged with fire retardant foam while inside a hangar, Team Structures has a general list of recommendations for this issue. Some foaming agents are more detrimental to the aircraft structure than others. Aside from eventual corrosion damage, the foam can also trap moisture. General aircraft washing and rinsing recommendations can be found in Chapter 12 of Citation Maintenance Manuals, while this information can be found in Section 2 for most of our propeller aircraft. The following bullet points are general information Textron Aviation has provided in the past. Please note some of these recommendations may not apply to your specific model aircraft. All external surfaces which come into contact with the foaming agent should be washed with clean water, mild soap, and a soft bristle brush or clean rags. Flush rinse the washed areas with a generous flow of clean water to remove all the soap and residue from the cleaning. Avoid directing water under high pressure directly into bearings, pivot points, pulleys, and other susceptible parts. Remove as much of the rinse water as possible using compressed air through an air nozzle, wet dry vacuum cleaner, and clean towels. Internal surfaces which come into contact with the foaming agent should be washed thoroughly with warm soapy water and rinsed with clean water until all residue has been removed. Note, only treat internal surfaces which are washable and dry accordingly. Remove and clean any seats, carpet, or upholstery that contacted the foaming agent in accordance with the applicable manual. On aircraft where the foam may have driven a control surface hard against its travel stops, inspect the control surface and the entire control system for damage or deformation, such as external skins, closure ribs, attach points, trim actuators, rod ends, torque tubes, bell cranks, pulley brackets, cable tensions, and control surface travel limits. All landing gear components should be thoroughly inspected and re-lubricated using the applicable maintenance or component manual. All control cables should be thoroughly inspected and reprotected as indicated in the applicable maintenance or service manual. All control surface bearings, pivot points, flap tracks, and attachment hardware should be inspected, cleaned, and relubricated in accordance with the applicable maintenance or service manual. Any contact with the engines or APU should be reported to the applicable manufacturer for specific instructions. Any contact with electrical or avionics components should be reported to the applicable manufacturer or technical service product team for specific instructions or cleaned and functionally tested in accordance with the applicable maintenance or vendor manual. Report any other specific damage or concern to applicable technical service product team for additional recommendations. For any structural questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517. 6061 or email to csstructures at txtav.com. Thank you.